Hi, welcome back to Colsky Drone. So today we're going to have a look at some new lighting. So one of the most difficult things about doing these videos, I do have natural light into this room, but not either I have too much or too little. So I tend to shut the blinds in here and just have two blinds open. So I rely on artificial light. So these are some new lights I've just got from Rileno. And these are called softbox lights. So let me just show you what you get in the box. Let's take these out of the box quick. And then there's quite a bit of stuff in here. And then we can have a look at them. So there's two, so I'm going to open one up and then I'll show you. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to set them up and I'll show you the set up in here to what they look like. So these are the light units themselves in these bags. So these are a thing called a soft box. So this is what you get in the box. You've probably all seen the soft boxes before, but it's a simple matter of locking that into place here, and that locks into place and forms the light box. It's massive, so you can see it's quite difficult to get on my desk. So this is the light box, it's reflective material inside and it's like a, it's quite a thick material. It's not cotton, it's like a PVC type stuff. And then on here, you get a tripod mount and an on and off switch and the cable. So let me just put this out of the way. You also get a huge bulb. So this is an 85 watt bulb, but more importantly, this is 550k white light bulb. So you can get various different sizes of these, and you can get various different type of bulbs. So this is white light, you can get amber, you can get soft glow, but for what I use them for, I need a white light bulb. So it comes with these, you get two of these, two of that you've just seen, and then these are diffuser covers. So you can use these or you don't have to use this. This is a cover for the soft box. So once you put your light in, you're going to see better when I've connected them up. That goes over the top of the box. Like I say, you're going to see better when I've set them up in a minute and you see. I'll have to film with a different camera and you can see what you've got there. So like I say, you get two of those. You also get a carry bag. If you want to put everything away into a carry bag, because it does all fold down, as you can see. So you get the carry bag. And in here, you should have a tripod. So you get two tripods. So these are your tripods. Sit down to the floor, and then you can adjust them on the mounts here for height because you do need to get these quite well it depends on your room but if you want to use them at side or above you need to get these quite high so they just extend out so like i say it's very difficult to show you on the table so let me go get them set up and then i can show you what they look like okay so i've got the lights set up i'm obviously using a different camera now so as you can see i've got three of these in here now so i had one originally before the i got these valenos and that one, I can't remember what make it is, but it's nowhere near as bright as these ones that I've just got. So you can see how they fit, and where they fitted, and how I use them. So I have one either side of my table, and then above it I have one that sort of comes down on the top. And that gives me enough lighting to do the review. So as you can see, let's see if I can get a bit, I get close to this light. So if you look at how bright that is, I hope you can see how bright it is. So if I look down the side, you can see... This is where it's velcroed on. So these covers just velcro on and off. You don't need to have them on. I like the soft lighter, the softer light effect. Try and eliminate some shadows. It doesn't kill them all, but it tries to eliminate some. And the same on the other side. But you can see, if you look at the bulb, I don't know if you're going to be able to tell, but this one's much, much dimmer. This one is quite a lot dimmer, even though it's still a 5500 bulb in. So, and on the table, I've just put the car on there. So when I flip to cameras in a minute, you can see that it still looks nice and bright on the camera, uh, that the picture looks good. So that's how they're set up, and as you can see, they're just on tripods. You get to see where I film. 
So this is where the magic happens, so to speak. So let's flick back to the main camera and I'll show you what the lighting looks like on the table and the difference when I turn them off. Right, so as you can see, I've showed you how they're set up in a room and what you get in the kit. So the reason I'm, I'm not going to review this car, this is to come, so I've not reviewed this yet, but you're going to see that the difference that light can make. So I'm going to turn off the one that's on the right of me and show you the difference when I turn it off. It's quite a big difference. Now don't get me wrong, this is daylight. I'm, I'm in a daylight room today. I've obviously got the blind shut, as you've probably seen on the other bit of video, but it makes a huge difference. If I turn them off, if I turn this one off, which is behind me, again, massive difference. So lighting can make a huge amount of difference. Now, these are 50 quid. Now, to me, 50 quid is worth it to get decent lighting. Because one of the things I want to do when I review stuff for you guys is I want you to be able to see what the product looks like. I want you to be able to see the fit and finish, and you should be able to do that because I'm using a decent camera. So if you have a decent camera and you don't have the lighting, you're just wasting your time. So yeah, I, I like these lights. I think they're good for the value for the money. I'm going to leave a link in the description below. I got them from Amazon. And like I say, they're not, you can pay a lot of money for lights. You can pay a couple of hundred quid for the decent ones. But these, for 50 quid to me, seem really adequate. And I prefer these type of lights that I've just put up because if you look into them, which I'm going to do, if I have bare bulb ones, it hurts your eyes after a little bit and you can see the filaments like you can. And when you're reviewing it can tend to be annoying so this is how i have set my studio up but yeah i recommend these i like them i'll leave a link in the description below and if you are looking at some lights obviously you can use these indoors and outdoors and you can they're not just for video they're for photographing for portraits whatever you want to use them for but they come in the bag so they fall down really small i obviously don't i just leave mine set up but yeah good lights thanks ever so much for watching have a fantastic day